Uno se levanta con un pensamiento de hacer tal cosa, de ver el reflejo de la luz de adentro. Usted dice, pa, está feo la mañana, ¿no? Usted sale afuera, mira a lo lejos, extiende la vista como nos hacemos nosotros en campaña. Usted dice, ah, pero va a ser un día bueno. Countryside work is closely related to seasons and nature. People who live and work in it have known this since they were born. Gustaría ser veterinaria porque me da pena de los animales. Quiero así salvarlos así. A veces mi padre los enlaza y yo digo. Ay, pobrecito, pa. Él dice, bueno, ¿qué vamos a hacer? <risa> Yo me crié en el campo, me acuerdo de muy chico, los corderitos, los terneros. Me acostumbré a trabajar con ellos y siempre me gustó. Vos estás en contacto continuo con los animales, vivís de los animales, vivís para los animales. The special link with nature determines that every moment of the year is marked by a productive phase. In September and October, when the cows reach an ideal weight of 300 kilograms, mating and insemination take place in Anapaula. It is the beginning of the productive cycle. During the insemination phase, first quality semen is used with the purpose of achieving a genetic improvement in each new generation. Nine months later, when spring comes, the grasslands are in bloom and the climate is favorable. It is the ideal time for births, and the country workers get ready to welcome them. La vaca cuando está próxima a parir, siempre hacemos lo posible de retirar del otro ganado. Entonces esas vacas dan cría todas ahí. La vaca a veces está con la preñez chico, te la ve y dice, no, esta vaca está preñada, pero demora un poco. De aquí a 60 días puede parir. Una vaca cuando se está preparando para parir, hay muchos signos. En el rodeo ya ellas comienzan a apartarse. Mordisquea algo, se para, se levanta, se para, se levanta, camina un poquito, busca el lugar y vuelve al mismo lugar. Porque usted nota, porque el animal se delata, como que va perdiendo la fuerza un poco. Y esa es la parte mía, hablamos, y de gente que vivimos más al campo, porque en Emilio, un veterinario, y eso sobre los estudios se da un cuento más. momento que lo olfatea, lo lame, lo, lo limpia, todo el ternero ya reconoció sus olores y, y desde ese momento ya acepta a su hijo. The best way to take care of the health and well-being of animals is to assist the birth natural cycle. The job done by all those who participate and contribute with their knowledge for months is aimed at considering and protecting the cycle that nature accurately generated. 
Siempre que estamos viendo vacas pariendo y que vemos terneros recién nacidos y que están al pie de la madre y están tomando el, ya el calostro, es eso, es la vida. Es algo muy lindo de vivir. The next challenge in the productive cycle is to assure the animal's feeding, in the short and in the long run, to take the necessary care. As it happens with the bees, that are busy making enough honey while the weather is good, in order to store it in the small cells of their hive, to keep the required food as to subsist through winter. La abeja visita 50 flores en cada vuelo que va a levantar polen, un viaje de polen. Ella va polinizando, levantando polen de esta flor a otra flor, entonces va cruzando. Si la abeja no poliniza la flor, ella tiene el proceso, florece, toda esa cosa, pero se muere, se termina ahí. Yo estoy en el medio de eso para hacer el complemento. Abeja y planta para que ambas lleven su proceso normal adelante. Haciendo el proceso este, ese pasto va a estar más fortificado, va a tener los nutrientes necesarios para el ganado, un alimento mejor. Once the grasslands are in bloom, they are partly processed in order to prepare bales, which constitute the forage reserve for winter months. Cuando yo llego a una pradera y veo que está florecida y que ha sido atendida por las colmenas que yo tuve, es un orgullo que yo siento. Another stage in care management is to improve the pasture's quality. Due to its privileged geographic location, its mild climate and excellent condition of its natural grasslands, Uruguay is an ideal place for extensive livestock raising. Cattle can graze in the fields during the whole year, thus avoiding large periods of confinement, the best way to protect the animal welfare. To make pastures better, phosphorite is used in Ana Paula. This kind of natural fertilizer meets the most demanding requirements. It works supplying phosphorus to the soil, what makes the grass grow stronger without adding chemicals that may damage the animal health or the environment balance. Above all, phosphorite is a fertilizer acting in the long run. Once it has been applied, its mineral components act gradually and greatly enrich the soil for future generations. El otro día salí a campo y él hace un torneo. Sí. ¿Qué vas a hacer con la grande? Seguir mi mamá. ¿Qué vas a estudiar? Pa a mí me gusta más veterinario. Un curso caro, pero. Pero es lindo. Es lindo. Es del campo. Sí, hay que hacer todo el liceo, ¿no? Ah, sí, hay que hacer el primero, el segundo. Todo el liceo, el tercero, el cuarto, el quinto. Y la facultad. Pero es difícil o no? No, no es difícil. Que le guste estudiar no es difícil. Ultimately, care means placing a bet on the people's development in the countryside. This can be achieved by stimulating education, work, and the revival of traditions in the region. In short, by having an integrated vision for development. Quite often, these things that are not noticeable at first sight, that do not show an immediate result, are the fundamental ones in the long term.
As the growth cycle of the calves advances, man must understand it in full details so as to protect it and encourage it in the right manner. For this purpose, traceability is performed. This consists of an information technological device for identification that allows to follow the growth of every calf by means of a chip which records the main events in the animal's life, its health, weight, each one of its steps. Once the lactation period has finished, it is high time the calf started life on its own, the weaning period. At that time, the hyphers are sent to the rebreeding farms while their mothers go back to the breeding farms. In order to cover great distances, it was decided in Ana Paula that the tropeadas, cattle driving in the traditional way, should be rescued. When driven along the fields, the animals do not result stressed or injured as they may be if driven in trucks. The cowboys drive the cattle in the best possible way since they are very familiar with the land, its woods, hills, and paths. Toda la vida tropié, desde guri yo tropié. Cuando me mandaba una la escuela, yo agarré una burra, un burro de ese choro para domar. Y ese era mi bagual, primero bagual que fue inventado a domar. Mas yo en chiquitilla me fui porque era medio sabandija, no me paraba mucho. No me gustaba mucho todo. Amarrado, Alina. Yo tenía una chancha y cambié por una yegua <risa> para salir. Yo quería salir, yo quería ser gaucho, a prep. In the countryside, the variety of jobs is handed down from generation to generation, while keeping alive the kind of wisdom that reveals the close relation between man and nature. El primer caballo que yo tuve una yegua tostada mala carga me regaló mi padre. Me mandó a mansar ese caballo en el momento que tuvo manso, me dijo, este es para vos. Y vos vas a tal almacén que allá te van a dar algo. Yo fui allá y me dieron un par de botes y una bombacha nueva. Yo tenía nueve años. Mi oficio actual es el caballo. Y a su vez lo que le puedo decir que el caballo en un establecimiento, en todo sentido, en los primeros herramienta de trabajo y si usted tiene un peón como nosotros tenemos acá ya gente de más tiempo ya de, de meses de años esa persona conserva mantiene un cariño a su caballo one of the oldest occupations in the countryside is the one known as the guajero who is the person that makes the horse gear in some ranches these skills are still well kept thanks to oral tradition Remediar un amigo, un compañero, si él no sabe hacer, porque no es todos los que saben hacer. No me voy a prender una camisa, ¿me entiende? Él si tiene botón, no tiene ojal, no la va a prender. Si tiene ojal, no tiene botón, la va a prender, lo mismo. No hice otra cosa en mi vida. Tomar un caballo, tropear y trabajar así como estoy trabajando acá, ¿no? en el campo, corriendo vaca. To rescue the traditional occupations in the area means for Ana Paula to integrate daily work with irreplaceable information. Because there is not real growth without the contribution of those whose knowledge arises from having lived their whole lives in the countryside. When autumn comes, the last stage of the productive cycle begins, fattening, that is the final preparation for a new life. It is in this phase that the entire year work crystallizes and bears fruit. The organization of tasks must run like delicate clockwork so that the life cycle can be successfully completed. 
Preparation starts with the Heifers, future mothers. After a month's stay in the breeding farms, they will learn how to eat forage from troughs, just in case it is needed for the winter. Corn growing takes place in Ana Paula with the purpose of supplying the food required for the fattening stage. For that reason, they have an irrigation system with cutting-edge technology. An information system controls a central pivot 600 meters long. It regulates the amount of water that each plant needs in every phase of its evolutionary cycle through sensors laid on Earth. Since it does not depend on rain, this technology allows the irrigation system to reach a matchless productivity. After careful growth processing, corn is harvested and prepared as feeding ration in order to feed more than 10,000 calf heifers during the three winter months. By the end of this period, heifers will have reached the ideal weight of 300 kilograms, which will be necessary for them if they are to be inseminated when spring comes. The use of this technology not only does contribute to a good and effective cattle feeding, but it is also the tool that facilitates communication, accelerates the time, and shortens distances. When I came here in May of the year past, I saw the great difficulty for the people who worked here to confront the Rio Negro. They had to do almost 100 or so kilometers to pass with a troop. Today, eles utilizam as pontes para passar com tranquilidade e com segurança. It may be pointed out that the use of technology has become a fundamental tool in order to face the challenges that nature poses to men. Eu adoro construir pontes e o que eu mais gosto ainda é quando é um desafio que ninguém queira fazer a obra, isso para mim é uma tentação, viu? Eu construí uma ponte, a pessoa que mandou construir essa ponte, dentro do contrato constava que ele só me pagaria a ponte se depois de pronta ele colocaria uma garreta com 50 toneladas em cima da ponte e eu teria que me parar de baixo Mas eu estava tranquilo embaixo. After crossing the bridge over Rio Negro River, the driving of the cattle has practically ended. It has been a long journey up to the fattening farms, where fields have the best pastures that were reserved for this occasion. During this period, the cows gain good weight and start the cycle again. Next September, they will also be ready to begin with the pregnancy stage. The journey is also over for the cowboy. His life, as well as his job, are a continuous come and go from one place to the other, like a nomad. When you live in a permanent contact with nature, the cycles, such as the change from day to night or the alternation of seasons, have a very special meaning. They are a sign to men of the things to come. And in due course, all things follow one another, both for work and men who enjoy the mere passing of time. Eu vivo sozinho, mas eu não consigo ficar mais do que dois, três dias longe daqui. Entende? Eu vou para a cidade, eu me sinto mal na cidade. Aqui não, aqui a natureza está na minha volta. De manhã eu levanto, 
estou rodeado aqui de, de pássaros, eu abro minhas cortinas aqui ó, e vejo o sol nascer, não tem nada mais gostoso do que isso aí. Né? A mim me gusta el monte, si pudiera vivir, conseguir un permiso para vivir dentro del monte, yo vivía toda la vida. Primero me fui a pescar. Y digo, pero que le entré un grabador. Para acá y un poco casé y, y grabar el canto del pájaro, que es una cosa muy linda, ¿no? De, de mañana cuando aclara, viene aclarando el día, admiro el, el, el cardenal, el enteveo, el chajá. Que grababa y aquello no sabía si era uno o era dos, aquello era una cosa sola, ¿no? Y escuchaba los que sé, cantos de pájaro. No hay ave que no tenga su canto, ¿no? el silbido, el, el, el chingolo, el canto cardenal. Allá va lindo, pensaba, digo, pues lindo el canto de pájaro. Será porque me encuentro solo, digo que me. Lo vi que yo lo prendía cada rato. Spring is back, and along with it, the time of births. The natural cycle and a new year of work start again. A single objective has reunited everybody in a commitment that requires of their knowledge. The mission of protecting the cycle of life. And on each new day, that cycle recommences, thanks to the contribution of the people who have always been close to it and will continue to do so. Agora vou ter que ajudar minha Janina para ser. São 129 más 269 398 ¿Estás ¿Mm? segura que es? Sí eh. Bueno, está